guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title today we're going to be doing a all black try on haul so as you can see i am sitting here in my living room it is a little echoey so i do apologize i will be investing in a mic i'm just trying to figure out what kind i want to get first so if you guys have any recommendations if you do youtube or any sort of social media then let me know down below but like i said we're going to be doing a all black try on haul i've been wanting to do this type of haul for the longest and y'all know I love black, so this is just fitting. I was like, I'm gonna do it. Just just do it, girl, because I have a lot of black pieces, y'all, a lot. So this video, I'm gonna say right now, is probably gonna be a long one. And I kind of miss getting back to my long hauls and not really doing too many voiceovers. I wanna sit and talk and get more personal with you guys. So I'm definitely gonna step away from doing the voiceover hauls for a little bit. Let me know if you guys like that. I am kind of over doing voiceovers, honestly, and I just wanna be like, you know, like I'm talking to y'all. So let's get into this video because I have a lot of stuff to show you. Just so you guys know, this shirt right here, I featured in a old try on haul, probably like six months ago. This is Dries Van Noten, I believe that's how you say it. I'll link it down below as well, even though it's not black, but I know someone's gonna ask. So, and also these earrings I have on here are from Pretty Little Thing. They're it, okay? If you like that, like chunky, vibe that's been going around the silver and gold like chunky jewelry these are perfect so i'll link this top in these earrings these leggings you can't really see but they're not even available anymore so i can't link them anyway so with all that being said we're gonna get right into the video definitely give a huge thumbs up for your girl if you guys are excited for what i have coming on my channel on my instagram on tiktok your girl is trying to get her life together and I'm rebranding right now and it's been it's been a it's been a journey, okay? So I really want to get more personal, like I said with you guys in my life update video. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so with that being said, let's get into it. So first up we have BP Jewelry. I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand before. They have some really, 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 really nice, unique jewelry. If you're looking for some like standout pieces, some statement pieces, I would definitely check them out. They are a little bit pricey, I would say. It's not like going on like Shein and buying a five dollar ring or a dollar ring or something it's gonna cost you because they make everything by hand I believe I'm not 100% sure on that but their stuff is really nice so I got this ring right here which y'all cannot see so as you can see here it looks a little crazy and you're probably like girl what is that it literally looks like a shower hook from here but it is a ring and it is absolutely gorgeous i'll have the photo up on the side so you can see what it looks like but since i wear black so much y'all know i love black i had to get this because i need me some like black statement jewelry and this was calling my name i was like i need this in my life like y'all see that wow that eats okay it looks kind of out there kind of crazy but it's definitely a conversation starter if someone's seen this on your hand while you were just like doing something they were like oh that's really cool or that's really cute so i'm so excited about this piece i'm definitely going to be rocking this it's not something i would rock all the time like every time i wear black but it's definitely going to give my black looks what it needs to give okay so next up we have this new york hat and i actually bought this a couple weeks before i went to new york for new york fashion week and y'all i apologize for the lack of content that was like my first time going to New York Fashion Week. I didn't know what to expect. I had so many looks lined up, but the content, I just wasn't, I don't know. I don't know what it was, honestly. I wasn't able to get as many photos as I wanted, which I'm bummed about, but I will be back in September. So y'all stay tuned because the looks are going to be it. And I'm going to have a whole setup. I'm going to have everything planned. I'm going to get a photographer, all that. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this I got for New York Fashion Week for one of my outfits, but I never ended up wearing that outfit and I kind of didn't really like it anyway. So I was just like, whatever, I'm not gonna return it because I actually really do like it. And I love me a good cap. Y'all remember when I did the denim New York? Y'all remember, if you don't remember, I'll pop it up on the screen and you're gonna remember, okay? But I loved that look, so I just wanted to get a black one because of course, I wear black all the time. You could throw this on your head when your hair isn't doing what it's supposed to do and it's still real cute. But yeah, this is the only hat that I have. So now we're gonna move on to, oh, I have something that's also really random. So I'm gonna show y'all that. Okay, so I know it's no longer the season for leg warmers because at this point, it's hot outside. Like it literally is hot outside right now. Funny thing is, as I'm editing this video, it is currently 29 degrees outside. So these are actually very on brand. So go ahead and get you some sis before it warms up, okay? <laughs> I'm so sad about it, but these are some leg warmers and they have a zipper, as you can see. 
and then they have this little triangle detail at the bottom and i just love these i actually seen these on tiktok i seen this girl wearing these she was doing like a get dressed with me and she put these on over her boots and it ate i was like those are so cute and then i found out they were from Shein. i was like oh i have to get these and when i went to go get them they were on sale so i don't know if they're still available of course i will have them linked down below but these are definitely going to come in handy for when it gets cold again or when it gets cool again whatever i'm going to style these some kind of way because i have to wear these so of course now we're going to move on to the bags and all of the bags i have in this video have a similar theme which you guys will notice so once i show you them all i don't know what that's about but this is number one okay beautiful i got this from asos of course y'all if you find something on asos i tell you all the time just get it just get it just get it because it will not be there when you come back if you're thinking about it don't think about it okay just literally that will be the only time i recommend spontaneous or like impulse buys you know that's the only time because asos they don't restock okay i have never ever ever been able to get something that i wanted that sold out because it never came back they do restock sometimes i'm not going to say that they don't but it's rare so i got this this is from top shop on asos of course and it is gorgeous it is a circular bag as you can see and then it has a gold buckle so when you put it on your shoulder it's like that i think i put it on backwards actually actually it doesn't matter which way you put it but if you want the gold buckle to show then obviously you put it on this way and it fits so comfortably and perfectly and there's still some room underneath so it's not like it's like you know all up in your armpit this y'all oh, i was supposed to wear this with one of my looks in New York Fashion Week and it was going to eat. Okay, I think I'm still gonna post that look because I cannot let that look just sit. I have to do it, I have to do it. So y'all, we'll see this look on Instagram real soon with this bag and I'm so excited to show y'all. So definitely follow me over there because I know I haven't been posting y'all but I really wanna get back to posting because the girl has been slow on Instagram and just not doing anything, so. But I have to get this look out to y'all because that look eats, okay, it eats. And the world needs to see it. I cannot hold on to this look until next season or whatever i have to do it like asap so stay tuned y'all because i have to get this look out there and you guys will see this bag in it so next we have a bag from jwpei y'all see that and this bag was inspired by your girl kayla cake so actually i was gonna get this bag like a few months ago i was gonna get it but it was out of stock it said pre-order so i was like honestly i don't need it anyway so i'll just i'll just hold off because it said like months from the day that I was looking at it, that it would be delivered. And I was like, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm just going to hold off. So then I go to New York Fashion Week and I was standing outside of the hotel on the phone waiting for my DoorDash to drop off my food. And I, like in my peripheral, I seen this bag. I just seen like the shiny, like it was dark out, the lights were hitting it. And I was just like, what is that? So I went and looked to the side and I saw the bag, but I didn't realize who had it. I just saw the bag. I was like, I need that bag. And then I looked up. And I saw Kayla and I was like, oh shoot, it's her. <laughs> she was literally the one standing over there with the bag. And I was like, see, now I have to get it. Cause I seen it in person and I was like, I need it. So enough chitter about the bag. Let me just show you. So I got to do a slow-mo. Just beautiful. Get that out of here. Okay, this is the bag. It is so cute. It is so small, but it is stunning. As you can see, it is just fully rhinestoned out. And it is absolutely gorgeous, like, y'all. And the way my girl styled this bag, she ate, okay? She ate when she styled this, and I was like, I have to get it. Like, that is just, that is a gorgeous bag. It is stunning. So, y'all, this is it right here. Beautiful. And they actually do have this brand on Amazon, which you can get it a little bit quicker than you can if you order it from the website. So, I will link both of them down below. But this bag, you need it. You need it. You guys will see it up close, of course, but it is absolutely stunning. And it has this little detail here, so you can just put it on either side. But I have it here because it has like a little seam right there, and I just want it to be covered. If you don't get anything in this video, get this bag. Please get this bag. So the very last bag that we have here, as you can see, or if you can't see, it's from Caperni. And it's kind of similar to the first bag I showed you. But you guys know, I had to get this one. I have this in gold, I have it in orange, I have it in red, I have it in zebra. So of course I had to get it in black, like I had to. But this is the, I think it's the mini swipe 
bag, but I'm sure you guys have been seeing these everywhere and the structure of it is amazing. The quality is amazing. The only thing I will say that is kind of annoying is just opening it and closing it, taking stuff out, putting stuff in. It's kind of a headache, I'm not gonna lie, but if you make sure you don't put like stuff that's overly big in here, like just keep it very simple, your wallet, your Fenty, okay? I can fit this in here, I can fit my wallet in here, I can fit my lip gloss, my cards. Just keep it very simple, then you're fine. But the way you open it, as you can see, the zipper is in here, so you unzip it this way, unzip it this way, and then this just kind of splits open. So yeah, I had to get this one too. I wouldn't go too crazy trying to overstuff this bag because it's gonna start to lose its structure, and that's the whole point of this bag, I feel like, is the structure of it. So, just a tip. So now that we're done with the bags, we're gonna move on to the shoes. And I have literally all boots. <laughs> I've been obsessed with boots lately. And these right here, y'all, I got on Zara. I got them on sale too. And they had my size, they had a size nine and a size 10 left when I seen them. And after I bought my size, then there was only one size left. And I was like, thank God, because these are absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they are some black. I don't know if this is, I'm pretty sure this is faux leather. The tag is still on here. Um, It doesn't say. I'm pretty sure they're full leather, but these are some black square toe boots. And you guys know I love my Hanifa boots, but I have been wearing her like down. I, I've been wearing the boots like crazy and I wanted a different style of a square boot. So the Hanifa boot has more of a, like a rounded square toe, but I wanted more of like a, like a square toe, if that makes any sense. So when I saw these, I had to get them. They were on sale for like, $39.99 and they were originally $89.90 so I feel like that's a really good deal so yeah these are absolutely gorgeous and they come right like right below the knee which is a really nice length and these look good with jeans I've tried them on with jeans I've tried them on with a skirt they're stunning I love these boots so next up we have us a pair of Crocs and these are I don't know how to say his name but I wish <laughs> okay I'm gonna try Sale he Bimbury Sale he Bimbury Y'all, I don't know if I butchered that, but you guys know that he had a collab with Crocs. And at first, when he first released them, I was like, I need those. But obviously, they sold out immediately. And I was like, damn. So then, I was, you know, shopping online, like I do, okay, clearly. And I saw these on StockX or Goat. One of the two. And they were reselling for, like, not that much, honestly. It was, like, one, 180 And I was just like, ah. Uh, I'll just hold off. And then I was on Depop browsing and I found my size, literally someone was selling my size for like 80 bucks. So I got, I had to get them. So these are the shoes. So these are the Crocs. As you can see, I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere, but I'll put a photo up so you can really see. But the detail, I love like, I love the shape of these. I just love everything about these. And I had to get them in black because they have like the green ones and then the, the like the cream ones. But I was like, I probably won't get too much use out of those, so I had to go for the black ones. Plus, it, it was just meant for me because I found them on Depop, like I said, for 80 bucks, and I was like, I have to get them. So these are it. They're a little big. I got them in a seven, which I normally get my Crocs in. So I don't know, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend going a size down, only because if I got a size six, they probably will be too small. So just wear a sock. Just wear a sock and you'll be good. So y'all these okay these either you love them or you hate them i don't know but when i seen them i automatically fell in love i don't know if you guys have been you know aware of like the trends and stuff but patent leather has been super super trendy and it is something that's going to be really big this year and it has been but i have never really gotten anything that was patent leather until this year when i saw these boots and I have actually a bag that was supposed to be in this video, Amazon, but it hasn't freaking shipped yet. And it was supposed to go hand in hand with this boot because it's going to eat. But I'll put the photo up over here. Y'all, imagine that bag with these boots. So these are a wedge boot. I don't know if you can tell, but they're a wedge boot, patent leather, and they have like this scrunchy, like scrunched detail. Insane. I love these boots. Like they eat and these are azalea wayne if y'all don't know nothing about azalea wayne i'm gonna need you to get on it a lot of my boots are from azalea wayne she makes some of the best 
boots. Her boots be booting. Okay, these are sick. I love them. And then it has like a little, literally the scrunchy situation goes all the way down to the heel. So it literally is like a piece of fabric over it, but it looks like, it looks like a pair of pants. I don't know. It just looks really cool. I love these so much. And y'all, this bag with these boots, please, please. I have to figure out the middle components. Y'all know how I do. It takes me a little while to put looks together because I really be trying to do my pieces justice when I wear them for the first time. Y'all, please. I love these boots so, so much. Okay, so the lighting just changed a little bit, but I had to show y'all this big behind box. Okay, so I had to get these boots. I was influenced by Jeremika. I hope I'm saying her name right, here on YouTube. Love her. I was inspired. She has the patent leather ones, but I was like, I need the matte ones because I love them. I love them. I love the look of them. I don't have any boots like this. They're super plain and simple, but they, I feel like they're a necessary piece in your closet. If you're this girl, okay, if you're this girl, which you guys will see in a second, then these are necessary for you. So here is the boots. Her name is Lydia, and these are from Sam Edelman. And I love his shoes. Like, I have honestly quite a few pairs of Sam Edelman shoes, and I just, I really, really like the style of a lot of his shoes. They're different, they're unique, they're fun. I just love them. But these, I had to get. I don't have any flat, thigh high boots. I had to get these. You guys seen these in my YouTube video and the TikTok that I posted for the concert outfit ideas, no heels edition. I had these in that video and I just love these. I don't know how much I'm gonna wear these like in the summertime only because they are like a faux leather and I don't do nothing leather in the summertime. I just cannot do it. I can't, unless it's a bag, I can't do it because girl, I'm gonna be in this boot just dripping, okay? The inside of the boot is not faux leather but I still feel like it's a very like, it's a very thick material, so it's not gonna be very breathable and it's not something I would personally wanna wear when it's hot outside, but if you want to, you can definitely do that. So really, I just got these for the fall winter season. I wanted to get them now in case, you know, I waited until then and they were no longer available because that's usually how that goes. So I decided to get them. I shop off season, as you guys know, all year round, and these are just the perfect buy. And they were on sale, okay? They were on sale, I will link them down below. I got them from the Sam Edelman website, but they also sell them on Nordstrom, I believe Macy's, a whole bunch of other places, and they're all on sale, so I'll link them down below. But these, you need them, okay? So that was all of the accessories, now we're gonna move on to the clothing. So we're gonna start off with the tops, and I have quite a few of them, so let's go. So the very first top we have here is this knit corset, and this is from Miss Lola. I showed you guys this as well in a previous clothing haul. It was in the like, I guess off-white cream color. And when I saw they had it in black, I was like, I have to get it. I love this. This is such a cute layering piece, I feel like. And obviously if it is for like a vacation purpose, you can definitely wear this just as is with a cute little knit skirt, a bathing suit, whatever, and it will look really, really nice. I got this in a medium and it is just really cute. It doesn't have any structure to it, I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for the Dion Lee, I'm pretty sure, corset. And that one I feel like probably has like wiring and stuff in it, but this one does not have that at all. It doesn't have any structure to it, which is fine. I like that feel, it's very comfortable. So if you wanted to, you could wear like a bra or something underneath this if you want a little bit more support because it doesn't have any at all, just so you guys know. But it is absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to wear this. So, so pretty. So next up we have another corset, and this I showed you all in my White Fox haul. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. There were some really cute pieces in there as well. But this, I had to show you in this video because I freaking love it. This I got in a size medium, and it fits true to size. It has like a tiny, tiny amount of stretch. It's, it's really none, to be honest, but it's enough. This is stunning, okay? This is mesh at the bottom. It does have mesh in the cup area as well but it is double lined and it has a piece of black fabric behind it. So you don't have to worry about it being see-through. You don't have to worry about it, you know, having to wear anything underneath to cover up. This is stunning. This looks so good with a blazer, a black blazer. Please, okay, please. This is everything. I'll try it on with the blazer so you guys can see. But y'all, this is everything, okay? Grown and sexy. So sticking with White Fox, I have this black 
top and this is just a black fitted tee and I love me a good black fitted tee. I have so many, but I feel like this is probably the best, the best out of all the ones that I have. As far as quality, it feels amazing. It has some stretch to it. It is really soft, so freaking soft. And it's just a really nice material. I love this top. I heard a lot about the White Fox like tees, these specifically. So I was like, I have to get one. Of course I had to get it in black. I'm pretty sure they have it in white and maybe some other colors, but I had to get black and I love it. If you need a good basic, please pick her up because this is definitely, definitely going to get a lot of use out of me. And I'll probably go and buy another one because that's how I am when it comes to really good basics. And this wasn't that expensive either, like at all. So I would definitely recommend getting this if you're in the market for some basics or a black fitted tee. So I do apologize if the lighting is changing or anything like that. The weather is terrible today. It is completely cloudy out and I'm using natural lighting, but I'm also using my lights. So the lights are gonna stay the same, but you may see like it go up and down because the weather is, it looks like it's about to throw down outside. So hopefully I can get this done before it decides to do anything crazy. But this top right here is from Manier Devoir. I do not know how to say that. I know it's French, but I do not know how to say that. I know this brand, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I've never purchased anything from this brand, but they have some really nice stuff. And I think after this purchase, I'm definitely gonna be browsing their website for more because their stuff is really, really nice. So I almost don't really wanna show you this because, not show you, but like unfold it because it's kind of pointless, but you really can't see much of what it is. All you see is a bunch of fabric, honestly. So as you can see, it is, Faux leather, as you can see at the end, and then at the top, it's like just a regular shirt material. So it looks crazy, but when I show you the picture, this thing eats, okay? I don't know where I'm gonna wear this, but I need it in my life. I feel like this is a elevated basic. I feel like this is an elevated basic right here. So this top, as you can see, like I said, is like a regular shirt, like a button down shirt material, and it does have a shoulder pad to give that structure. And then the bottom of the top or the wraparound area is faux leather. So you can tie it however you want, but it gives that nice contrast of the two different materials. And it looks really, really nice. I love this top. Y'all, my style, I have been elevating my style recently. Your girl is getting older, okay? I'll be 30 this year, okay? I'll be 30 this year. So I have been slowly evolving into basically the woman that I want to be and that woman dresses a certain way so I have been loving loving elevating my style recently so you guys are going to see a lot of that in my videos okay but this I got in a size US 8 and it fits me exactly the way I wanted it to if you want this part to be more like oversized I would size up but if not just get your regular size and it's going to look amazing so next on the list we have this crochet knit I don't know which one this would be considered I'm just gonna say crochet top and it is very flowy I don't know if y'all could see the holes in it but it has like some detail across the front which just kind of gives a little bit of cleavage if you wanted to you know wear something well I'm definitely gonna wear something underneath this okay I'm not wearing this just as is because that's not what we're doing, okay? We're not doing that. But this I got in a size large and it's from Fashion Nova. I originally had a vision for this, but the vision is kind of blurry <laughs> at this point. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I really do feel like I can get some use out of it, especially when it gets hotter out. This is a perfect little throw on top to wear with like a little crop bralette. If you wanna wear this as a bathing suit cover up, it'll be really cute as well. So I can definitely do something with it but I had to get this because it was just really cute. It's black, it's off the shoulder, and it's just a vibe. I love this. So next up, we have us another Elevated Basic, and this is from the brand And Other Stories. And I seen this, I wish I could remember her name. Oh, I wish I could remember her name. I can't remember her name, but I was watching one of her hauls on YouTube, and she had this on, or she featured this in the video, and she styled it as well. And when I seen it, I was like, this is stunning. This is what I call a grown and sexy, okay, elevated basic piece that just can make something look super, super elegant. Grown woman, like if you just have a pair of jeans and you throw this on, it's gonna look great. So it is a little sheer. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
it's yeah it's not very noticeable on camera but it's a little sheer which i love it's a little bit which gives just even more sexy to me so this i got in a size medium and it is like a ribs material and what i love about it is the sleeve y'all see that so yeah there there you can see that it is a little sheer but this is the end of the sleeve it's just exaggerated it's flowy and it just looks amazing okay i love this i think this i would say this is true to size i got it in a medium like i said and i love the way it fits i'm so glad that i got a medium because i was gonna get a large and i would have been mad so yeah definitely get your true to size the neckline is really pretty it's very soft it's like a little a little ruffle kind of like the the sleeve but y'all this right here this right here i freaking love okay this is definitely definitely going to get styled very very soon and i want to do it real real good so it might take so y'all have seen this already but i had to double back okay because this right here is one of my favorite black tees that i own and this is from anderson bell i got this on essence and it's just a black top and as you can see the bottom has like an asymmetrical cut and then on both sides it has strings so you can ruch it up and make it a little bit higher on this side or a little bit lower you can do it however you want you can make it more of a cropped look versus like a long shirt but this is my favorite top i love this i think they also have this in white i'm pretty sure it was sold out so i wasn't able to cop that one but i had to get this one and i can't wait to style this this is going to elevate any basic look simply because the cut of the shirt is different it's not just a basic black shirt you know so i have to show you all this again i showed you all this in my recent collective haul which was like a few months ago at this point but i had to double back because y'all need this if it's still in stock and it was on sale too so if it's still in stock definitely get it i will link it down below if it's not i'm sorry but i had to put it in this video so now we have moved on to the bottoms and these right here are a pair of split hem leggings and y'all may see stuff all over it because i took them out of the dryer with the intent to end up taking them to the cleaners or the dry cleaners because of the material and everything i wanted to keep them as black i don't want them to get ashy all that so i wanted to take them to the dry cleaner but i ended up just throwing them over the washing machine and they air dried so they have all this fuzz and stuff on them but these are a pair of split hem leggings i got them from forward they do also sell them on revolve as well but Aaliyah put your girl on because she had i'm sure you guys have seen it of course but she posted a look on her tiktok with these pants but just in blue and this really cute blue sweater and i was like i need those pants i need them in black i don't need them in blue i need those pants though so i went on revolve and they were only for pre-order but then i saw that they also sold them on forward so i was like i have to get them while they were in stock i got them and i'm pretty sure they're still in stock now i'm not 100 percent sure but i got these in a size medium and these will definitely get a lot of use i actually wore these to one of the events that me and kayla went to when we were in new york and i loved them they were so comfortable so comfortable the inseam is nice and long so i had on heels and they were still giving okay the, the fabric was still draping the floor a little bit so i love that and these are something you can dress up or down as you guys saw i dressed it up but i'm definitely going to be wearing these with sneakers at some point and just anything really okay so i don't know about you guys but i have been loving the like bermuda i don't even know if it's called bermuda or culottes is that how you say culottes something like that just like the really long shorts but like baggy oversized i'll put up a photo over here of the style of short that i'm talking about lori harvey y'all know the goat she is everything i love her style but these are the shorts that i have been kind of looking for something on the more affordable tip of course but i ended up coming across these on asos of course and these are so so cute they are top shop and they are some faux leather shorts as you can see and they are pretty wide pretty long and that's the vibe i was going for i want to do a short look with these and some like thigh high boots so it has that seamless look i really want to do that but i don't know if i'm going to do it now because it is kind of getting a little warm and i can't imagine wearing these right now with also some faux leather boots y'all just hot okay hot but i'm definitely going to be doing that one of these days okay i have to do it but i'm excited to style these 
I got these in a US 10 because I wanted to make sure that they had a little bit of like bagginess to them instead of getting my normal US 6, US 8. With them being a little tight, that's not the look I'm going for. As you saw in the photo, they were really big and flowy. So I want to try it with the faux leather shorts and see how it goes. So yeah, y'all let me know if you like these. If you are into that short look style, let me know down below if you guys are, you know, on the market for a pair of those. If you have some, let your girl know because I have been looking all over the place. I found a pair from Saint Laurent, but I was like, I'm not spending $2,000 on these shorts. I'm just not. So sticking with the faux leather theme, I have these faux leather pants from the brand AFRM. And I got these on Revolve, but they also of course have their own website, which I've purchased from before. But these are just some faux leather pants and I've been looking for a really good pair of black faux leather pants. And these are it. Okay, these, I love these. And they are, I would consider these to be affordable because I've seen faux leather pants that go up to, you know, thousands of dollars and it's faux leather at that. It's not even like real genuine leather. So that's another story for another day, but these are faux leather and they are affordable in my opinion. I'm pretty sure they're, if they're not under a hundred, they're like a little bit over. So I feel like that's affordable, especially for a good quality pair of faux leather pants that you can wear all year round. You can have them for years to come. I love these. I got them in a 28. I originally got them in a 30, but they do have a little bit of stretch to them. And I was like, I want them to fit. You know, I don't want them to be loose or anything like that, droopy in any areas. I do need to get the waist taken in in the back a little bit so they can be perfect. But these are definitely a really good pair of faux leather pants. If you're looking for some, these are it. So next up we have us another pair of faux leather pants with a twist. Okay, so these are from Abercrombie and I had saw these in a YouTube video like a few months ago and I was like, dang, I really like those. But I was kind of like on the fence of, do I actually like those? I don't know. But I got them because I had to try them out for myself and I love them. They are everything. Now, if you're not into the mixed fabric look, then obviously these are not your cup of tea, but I really like these a lot. I feel like these can definitely elevate like a basic, like if you just wore like a white button down or like a white fitted tee or something like that. And these, the look is already gonna go from like five to a thousand, basically, because these pants I feel like can elevate any look, especially a basic look. I got them in a 28, which is, I guess, equivalent to a size eight, and then an XL, which just means extra long. And I get my Abercrombie jeans in an extra long because I feel like the long isn't long enough. The long is only long enough when I'm wearing something flat or a pair of sneakers, nothing with a heel. But then when I put a heel on, it's just that little bit of gap between the ground and my pants that I just cannot deal with. So I go for the extra long, and if I need to, I'll get the bottoms hemmed up or whatever. But for me personally, I like the extra long the way it is. I don't do any alterations or anything to it. And the waist fits amazing, y'all. Okay, I just took a pair of, three pairs of jeans, actually. One from Zara, because y'all know Zara's jeans. The waist, it never gives, ever, ever. So I had to take some jeans to the tailor to get taken in at the waist, but I didn't have to take these because these fit me perfectly. So yeah, if you're in the market for a good pair of jeans, a nice, like different pair of jeans, I would highly recommend these from Abercrombie. Okay, so last pair of bottoms. I don't know if you guys can see, but the lighting is changing because the sun is coming out now. I don't know what's going on outside, but these are a pair of black cargo pants and I got these from Fashion Nova. And these I got in a US, a US 9. And as you can see, the cargo pockets and the bottom have like this little strap detail, which let me just tell you real quick, that strap detail is, it may take you out, honestly and truly, because I have had so many close call situations with these pants because of this little loop at the bottom. So it's supposed to just be, you know, a little strap in the front or whatever, like this. Can y'all see that? The strap with a little button, just for a little detail. But I cannot tell you how many times I have been walking with these pants on and it, it hangs, it hangs. So my heel gets caught in this and then I just trip. 
Oh my God, my life has flashed before my eyes like 10 times wearing these pants. And I, I've worn these pants quite a few times. I wore these when I went to New York Fashion Week and I was terrified that that was gonna happen. I wore these to a fashion show and I was like, girl, if I fall, we're gonna have some problems. But I ended up not falling, so that's great. But I'm just putting that out there. The little straps at the bottom on these at least, they're so loose that they just hang sometimes and then you just get caught in the crossfires and it's like, girl, please. So what I ended up doing for temporary fix is just safety pinning them to the pants. So I took a safety pin and literally put it in the center of the little strap and now it just stays in place. But obviously the safety pin just looks kind of kind of janky on there, it, it's not given. So if you want to, you can just sew it on or whatever. But y'all, these things are dangerous. I'm just saying that. I don't know if this has happened to anyone else or if it's just me, but they are dangerous, okay? But these pants are dangerous in a good way, like they look real good. So sticking to the cargo theme, we're gonna move on to skirts. And I only have two, but this one is a cargo skirt, which is from Nasty Gal, as you can see. It is so hard to do these with like just upper body because everything's so freaking long. But this skirt is so, so cute. I have been wanting to buy a cargo skirt for a very long time. I just haven't because y'all know I'm not a skirt girl, I'm not a dress girl. That's just not me, but I feel like a cargo skirt is more my style than like a regular skirt, if that makes sense. Because of the vibe of the skirt, it's super casual. It's like streetwear. It's just all of the things that I love about fashion. Minus the skirt, but I feel like the skirt itself can be worn so many different ways that I feel more comfortable wearing the skirt, if that makes sense. Versus like a little mini skirt or something like that. So this does have an elastic waistband. I got this in a US 8 because that's my normal size. But I didn't realize this was elastic, so if you want to, you can size down. But I actually really like the fit of this, even though it's my true to size, and it kind of feels a little big. I like that. I actually like that. So they do have a drawstring in the front as well, so you can tighten it. And then this zipper goes all the way down here, and then there's a split down the middle. So this is really, really cute. I got this from Nasty Gal, like I said. I have been on the hunt for one for a little while, but I was just kind of like, I'm not too pressed about it, to be honest. But then when I seen it on Nasty Gal, I was like, I'm gonna get it and see how I like it. And I really like this one. Y'all, we're getting to the nitty gritty, okay? We're getting to it. I told y'all this was gonna be long. It's insane how much I love black. This is why it is so long, because I have so much. But the last bottom we have is the skirt. And this is from the brand Addicted. And I showed you guys this in my concert outfit ideas, heels edition. This was the skirt outfit that was at the very end with the thigh high boots, the, the graphic tee and the furry hat. I'll just put it over here, y'all. All that explained, I'll just put it over here. So I got this skirt in size large, and as you can see, it has a slit down the middle. It's not even a split, it's like a triangle so that it actually shows, you know, whatever you're wearing underneath versus literally just a split where you have to like open it up. It's already open, if that makes sense. But yeah, I got this in a large because I was kind of torn between a medium and a large. But I've been feeling like sometimes with these kind of skirts, denim skirts, just skirts, long line skirts, the hips never fit me like I want them to. And the waist is always really big. So I went up a size to give a little bit more room in the hip area. And if I need to get the waist taken in, then I can easily do that. But you can't really do much when the hip area don't fit, you know? So. I really like this a lot. This is definitely, y'all, uh, definitely gonna get a lot of use. Y'all already seen, it looks really good with a pair of thigh-high boots, a graphic tee. If you wanna dress it up, you can. I feel like that was still a little bit more on the casual side, that outfit that I showed you. But yeah, if you wanna dress this up, a black turtleneck is gonna eat with this. Okay, in the fall, the winter, I love this. This is a must-have, it's a staple. Y'all know maxi skirts, denim skirts, skirts in general. So right along with the denim skirt, I feel like you need a faux leather skirt. And this one is a really, really good one to have in your collection. Okay, so last but certainly not least in this video, we have a couple of pieces of outerwear. And this right here is from Pretty Little Thing. And I showed you guys this in a reel on Instagram where I did like outfit ideas for spring or not spring. I don't remember what it was, fall, I don't know. But I had this jacket, but in pink. 
And I saw the black one at that time, but it was sold out. And I was heartbroken because the way that that pink one fit me, I was like, I have to get this in black. I have to, y'all know. If I find something that I really like that's not in black, I have to go find it in black too because that means I'm gonna love it even more. So this, finally, I'm sure it came back in stock before this, but I finally seen it back in stock a couple weeks ago and I got this so freaking quick, so quick. This is so cute to me. It's a cropped faux leather jacket, has like the motorcycle feel, but it doesn't have any hardware on it, which I like because I have so many faux leather jackets that have like silver hardware and it's just, I feel like you can only wear it with silver, you know? It's just like in your face, silver everywhere, zipper, button, all this, but this has nothing. So you can do silver, gold, any color you want with this one. So that's why I had to get this because I can do way more with this than I can with some of the jackets I already have. So yeah, it buttons up here in the front. It has that collar and then it has a belt down here and I just love the way it looks just hanging, but you can tie it in a little bow, give yourself a little bit more shape. This right here is a must have must have. I got this in a US 8 and that is the perfect size for me with this jacket. That's my go-to size anyway. If I want to size up and I want it to be bigger, I always go for a US 10, sometimes a 12, but I got a US 8 and this is everything. I love this so, so much. That's what the back looks like. This is a piece. I love this so much. I freaking love this. This is probably one of my favorite jackets right now. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing it anytime soon, y'all, because girl, it's hot. It's hot, it goes from like 30 degrees to like 70, which is considered hot when you were used to like the 20, 30 degree weather. I can't, I can't do it. But this is a must have. So I'm pretty sure it's out of stock, let's be real. Pretty sure it's out of stock, but I will link it down below and I will wash it like a hawk because pretty little thing, their stuff comes back in stock, goes out of stock, comes back in stock, goes out of stock. So you just have to keep your eye on stuff that you really like and you'll get it. Okay, so here we have a denim jacket. And this is unlike any of the denim jackets that I have. Y'all know I have showed you guys a million denim jackets, okay? But I've never showed you one like this. So this I got from ASOS, and this is from Topshop. And it is kind of, I wouldn't say, I think it was, let me look at the tag. It doesn't even say. But I think it was labeled as like a, not a balloon. I think it was balloon. I don't know, but it has like that shape to it. And I really like that shape with a denim jacket. It's very like vintage, very 80s, 90s, whichever era that was. And I just had to get this because one, I don't have one like this. And I feel like on camera it's looking a little blue, but it's definitely black. It's definitely black denim. I love it. I got this in a US 10. Like I said, I always go for a US 8 for my true to size, how I like things to fit when they were a little bit more fitted for me. But then when I wanted to have a little bit of room, I go for a US 10. So I got this in a US 10 and I love it. I love it. I actually have a denim Brandon Blackwood bag that I've never touched. I'm gonna go get it actually. I'm gonna go get it and see if it goes with this because that will be my chance to finally wear it. Y'all, it's giving. It's giving. I have to wear this like tomorrow, okay? I have to wear this. Even if it's super casual with like a little white baby tee, fitted tee underneath, some black leggings and throw on some sneakers with this and this, I have to do it regardless. I don't care how the outfit turns out. I'm not holding on to this for any longer because I've had this bag right here for going on at this point over two years and I've never touched it. I've touched it, I'm touching it right now, <laughs> but I've never ever worn this outside of the house before or even in general. I don't think I've ever even styled this in a video or anything, so yeah. This is a combo right here. This is it. I love this. Okay, so this right here is a blazer and she is from Nasty Gal. And I had my eye on this for like a day because I knew that once I went back or if I would have waited or if I would have just put it in my cart or put it on my wish list and just forgot about it, I could have forgot about buying it because it would have been out of stock. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it and I got it. And as soon as I got it, it's sold out in black. They have it in white, which I'm not a huge fan because everything that I buy that's white, it gets dirty, y'all. I just, I'm just not a girl who wears a lot of white, but if you guys know the brand area, which I'm sure you do, they do a lot of this, okay? So this, I feel like, is a good, affordable, I wouldn't say it's a dupe, 
but it's very much inspired by the brand era. It has to be because their pieces are insane. They're gorgeous, detailed, expensive. So that's why I had to get this. But this I got in a, what size did I get? So this is a US 6 and it is also labeled as oversized. And as you can see, it is quite big. I think I can get away with wearing this as a dress with some black tights underneath, but I'm not sure. I would still probably wear something underneath it just to be safe. Maybe like a little mini skirt that you can't really see, but it's there just in case, you know? But I really love this and I'm gonna be holding on to this basically for a while because I'm not gonna wear this anytime soon. I have a vision, okay? I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm gonna save this for maybe New York Fashion Week in September. I don't know yet, but y'all, stunning. Absolutely stunning. The detail, I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to like rip off any of the rhinestones, but this was absolutely gorgeous and I could not pass up on getting it because I feel like this is going to eat, okay? I don't know how I'm gonna wear it or when. Like I said, I may save it for September's New York Fashion Week, but it's gonna eat. I had to show this because I feel like it is something that you need in your wardrobe. It is a black trench coat and this is from PLT. And y'all, I don't know why I don't have one already or why I didn't have one before I got this one. But this one right here, y'all, absolutely gorgeous. I had to get this one. Definitely not gonna be wearing this anytime soon anymore. I could have gotten away with it like a couple weeks. I've had this for like almost two months at this point. But I just haven't gone anywhere really to wear it. But I should have took this to New York with me because I was so unprepared. But anywho, I love this. I have it in a US 10 because with coats, I want to be able to layer. So although I love a good like fitted coat, I wanted to get this one a little bit bigger than the normal size I would go for, which is US 8, sometimes a 6. And I wanted to be able to layer with it. So that's why I got it in a US 10 and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what this material is, but it's very thick. Okay, girl, I will be nice and hot up in this if I wear this now but definitely nice and warm if I wear this, you know, in the colder months. So I'm gonna just hang her up and she's gonna get a lot of use when it gets cool again. But this is the very last item I have in today's video. So like I said, that was the very last item I had in today's video. I know this was a long one, but it's been a while, y'all. It's been a while, I've not sat down and talked to you face to face, real time, you know, everything's been like previously recorded and all of that. So I just wanted to come on here and do a haul of all of the stuff that I've recently purchased, all black edition. If you guys want more videos like this, definitely let me know, whether that be just hauls in general, specific type of hauls, certain categories, colors. We ain't gonna get too crazy with the colors. I'm not about to do like a pink, a red. I may do a red. We may can do a red, because y'all know how I feel about red, okay? Let me know if y'all want a red one, okay? Because I can definitely do that, but definitely let me know any other videos you guys want to see down below. Comment down below your favorite piece in this video if you're gonna be checking out anything. If you've had your eye on some things and you wanna get them now because you saw this video, let me know. I will have everything linked down below in the order that I was shown in the video. I'll have chapters. Y'all know, y'all know the drill. Ain't nothing changed, okay? Other than me wanting to be a little bit more personal and just talking to you guys, doing my typical, this is how I started my channel, doing hauls, talking to you, sitting down, holding up the item, trying it on, you know, not the whole voiceover thing. I started that because it was a little bit easier for me. I was, it was a lot of stuff going on around me that was out of my control, noises and things like that. So that's really why I started doing the voiceovers because I was being interrupted. If you know the story, you know I was being interrupted. It was just a rough time for me. So ever since I started it, I just kept doing it. And I kind of want to get out of that. I want to do one every once in a while, but I don't want to always do a voiceover because I feel like it's not as personal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram so you can see me style these pieces in the future, okay? And let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything in this video. I hope you do because I found some amazing pieces and I hope you guys enjoyed them. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next one.